What a day, it's all raining, it's chucking it down. Remember in the last video I was saying about the bird cages in the town? Mm -hmm. See over there? It's like four bird cages all hanging up. So, what are we doing? Buying water? Yeah. Is it done? Just got back to the farm. Look at all the mist on the mountains, that's pretty nice. So we've been out to get a little bit more metal for the fence posts. We're just trying to decide which ones we're going to go with. Like for the bracing posts that go between each each of these. So recently it's been raining every afternoon, but it never rains in the morning. So so this morning my plan was to go out and buy the caps for the fence posts. And, you know, get them done this morning before the rain might come this afternoon, and then. The first time ever, it's like raining in the morning, so now all the all the fence posts have now got water down inside them, so that's sod's law. It's really annoying. The one day that I needed it to just be dry in the morning is the one day it rains in the morning. There's Bung Bung exploring his new home. Bung Bung, what are you doing? What are you doing? There's Pen. What she's doing? Oh, and Gorgi. Looks like his muzzle's falling off. Look, the muzzle's come off. Chickens, beware. So yeah, look, the brick wall's starting here. That's how they're doing it. So every other one's going to be horizontal. So I guess that's going to make it stronger. So yeah, I think the roof company is here, or at least one of them. Yeah, his car is there. So I don't know if they, I don't know if they do roofing in the rain. No idea. We'll wait and see what happens. Yeah, yesterday they delivered all the metal and they dumped it here in the mud. And me and Pen took us quite a long time, a couple of hours maybe. We moved it all over into here, so we had to do that ourselves. That's the yeah roofing company guys. They reckon the roof will be done in a week wait and see i don't know what we're going to do today i'm not going to do anything around the farm because it's it's raining it's muddy so i guess we've got two choices go to the hotel be really lazy have a day off or drive up to suratani and have a look around like home pro or something to see if we can find some tiles or something like that for the bungalow we just popped in the farm ready to drop this metal off and let the dogs have a wee so look there's gorgi He's looking at the chickens in next to oh, the dog. That's what he's looking at. That's that dog. Hey, out! Get out of it! Get out of it! Go on, Gorgie, get him! Go on! Bang, bang, get him! It's going to be a bloodbath over there now. So, yeah, we've come just to let the dogs have a run around a bit. Hopefully they won't get too messy in the mud and then we'll, we'll take them out. And I don't, know, I don't know what we're going to do. Maybe we'll drive up to Suratani and... Mm -hmm. What else are we going to do? So. Look at the state of that dog. Look, there's this really stubborn pigeon. It won't get off. I'm rocking the car. Get off. I don't want it to poo on my car. <laughs> there it goes. It's over there now. Look. <laughs> off. I've got to I drive. Here, pal. We're just trying to chill out, have a coffee. Oh, no. <laughs> oh no. Pigeons. Let's try that again. I've got two coffees because they're so small. There's no pigeons. Hmm. So we're at a metal place. I'm gonna order the rest of the metal to finish the fence off. Pen's gone inside to do it. So I don't know, since we're here I'll show you something. So in behind the main road, there's a shop along the main road. Um, metal company shop. I don't know what they're doing here, but they've got these two dog cages behind here. You can see down there, there's a dog inside there. So they've got two little cages and two dogs in there. And I see this sort of thing all the time in Thailand. Uh, people just locking dogs up like for their entire life. I don't know. I don't know how often those dogs get let out, but every time I come here, and I've been coming here a lot recently, 
Those dogs are in those cages all the time. I don't, I don't see the point of having them. I think, I think maybe they have them for a guard dog, so they bark at people when they come. But um, I don't know. But I see that a lot. There's a uh, dogs tied up on short leads and just left like for a very long periods of time or, or permanently, from what I can see. Anyway. So Pen was saying to me that some people have said to her that the dogs get used to it when they're tied up like permanently or practically permanently so I don't know it seems pretty cruel to me but maybe it's true maybe they do get used to it but I don't know I couldn't do that I'd feel really guilty so I just think if you're gonna have these dogs you know try and let them have a good time and Take care of them as best you can. What else can you do? Mmm. I love coffee. Our oh, pen just rang me. They've run out of the metal we want, so well they haven't got enough of it anyway, so we've got to go and find an alternative. So we'll go and have a look. Anyway, so it's a big place. We've got all sorts of metal products and metal sheeting. It's not that interesting, but I thought I'd show you since we're here been here every day pretty much recently that's that they didn't have the one we wanted they run out so to figure that out later so we just come back to the hotel the lady's in doing the cleaning as she does every day I get her to come and clean the room about once a week. So we've just spruced it up a bit. And then while we're out today, we'll get her to come in and give it a clean for us. So we'll take the dogs for a walk while we're here as well. Come on, Gorgie, this way, come on. This way, come on. Yeah, Gorgie's almost better. The sore on his leg is much better. Still a small one on his back, it's almost gone. So he's like 95% couple of other selfie queens over there. Yeah, feel sick going up that thing. So we're just having an unplanned visit back to the farm. We've got to drop off a bit of petrol. It's for two strokes, so we've got to add oil as well. So the fence posts are all concreted in. Feel pretty good, feel pretty solid. Right, let's go through our back gate. Here we go. Oh, we're in. Up our little slope in the back door. Oh, we're in the bungalow. Exciting. And then, oh, we're in the living room now. This is the living room. So it looks like they're just sort of welding it together into long sections. Whatever. I don't know what he's up to. He looks like he's getting level steel plates on top of the posts there. I like what I see. Where's Pen? Let's get her in the car. Come on, Pen. I've got to keep my eye on Pen or she'll start mucking about. We're given the slightest opportunity. All right, so here's a question. This is one thing I don't like, is that they splashed concrete up the side of the poles there. So what's going to happen with that? Do I leave it? Do I have to wash it off? Will the rain wash it off? I probably won't. So it doesn't look very pretty, does it? I wasn't sure if I should paint the fence or leave it for now or what. But um, what should I do about that concrete on the fence posts? Anyway, let's get back in the car. We've got to get to Surat Thani. I've been running around all morning. I'm knackered already. I don't want to drive to Surat Thani, but, but I think I've got no choice. So it's too much to do and too little time or whatever it is. However that saying goes, so we just stopped at the side of the road here. There's um, like an army barracks in here and they've got this nice roof. I like this roof a lot. I like the color of it and the style of it. And this is how we're gonna make the roof on the bungalow similar to this, even a similar color to this. So I just pulled over quick to get some pictures of it to show to the roof company and I guess to show you lot on YouTube as well. So that's kind of what our roof's gonna look like, but a bigger version of that. So I've been meaning to pull over there for a while. They were, uh, the soldiers were giving us some suspicious looks then, like, why are they here taking pictures of our army barracks sort of thing. 
I think that's the same army barracks where we went to the shooting range before. I think that's what Penn was saying. Apparently, I guess it's a big place. I don't know. So we're going to go and have a look for some floor tiles. We need about 300 square meters of floor tiles. It's 150 baht a meter to fit it. So um, we're looking for something that's reasonably priced. So we're up in Surat Tiny doing a bit of tile shopping. Been to Home Pro already. Now we're going in Global House. Seen they got some ride on mowers here. Don't know how they would work out. So yeah, we're just having a quick look at the tiles. Got this really nice white color one and then some slightly off white ones. Um, but if you look at the light and the reflection, it's like a perfect mirror. And then over here, there's a little bit of wobble to it. I don't know if that's important or not, but I think we're leaning towards this one, slightly off-white color. So we're back down in Nassan now. Got the dogs in the back. Gorgie and Bung Bung. It's still raining. Um, it's been raining pretty much all day. So I think what we're going to do now is take the dogs in the back of the car, go and find them some dinner, bring them back here to the shop and feed them. And then me and Penn are going to sneak out after that and find a bit of dinner of our own. Don't bite that. Wait. What the hell do you think you're doing? You're hungry. You want your dinner, do you? Huh? So we've all had dinner. Dogs are like their dinner, they wolfed it down. Me and Penn had our dinner, we wolfed it down. We brought them over to the hotel. <coughs> so we're not supposed to have dogs in the hotel, but we've snuck them in. It's not the first time, but it's the first time we're gonna try it overnight. And, uh, should be fine, but just Bung Bung might start barking at something, so... We're trying to calm the dogs down a bit, they're trying to fight each other. And, uh... We're trying to keep them quiet, and, um... Anyway, hopefully it'll work out. The plan is, if Bung Bung starts barking well, me and Penn are going to fake a coughing fit and try and disguise the sound that way. Hopefully it'll be alright. Right, bun bun, you be quiet. One bark, he was one smack, you wanna smack? A smack, smack. Guess that's it for this video. I'm gonna walk over to 7-Eleven and get some snacks or something. Some treats for the dogs, maybe that'll shut them up as well. Okay, stay pens here. <laughs> look, look, this is good one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's 